While there were many GCU fans in Spokane on Sunday, the Lopes still had a lot of support at home in Phoenix. The electric game day atmosphere was in full effect on the GCU campus. Our Cronkite News reporter Sam Valenti has more on the GCU watch party. While GCU men's basketball was playing Alabama in Spokane on Sunday, the excitement could be felt at Global Credit Union Arena. Fans stood in line before tip-off, and once inside, they were greeted by the trademark energy of a Lopes home game. A particular game day carryover was public address announcer Paul Denuser, who emphasized the atmosphere recreation. Everything we do is about the fan experience, and you know we would have loved it if everybody could have gone to Spokane, but since we, we can't, Let's have a party here at the beautiful Global Credit Union Arena. Sunday's watch party displayed the connection basketball has with GCU. Cheerleader Ryland Churko Anderson spoke about the importance of basketball to the university as a whole. Basketball has been a part of our culture ever since I was here long before. Um, it's very exciting for us to have such a uh, great support for our basketball team, have our Havocs out here, have our team behind us, have our coaches behind us. Um, it's very exciting to just be a part of that. As Ryland mentioned, a huge part of that culture is the Havoc student section. Dancer Jordan Goldberg believes that the Havocs are in a league of their own. The Havocs are one of a kind, the best student section in the nation. I'll take that with me to the day I die because I've never seen anybody care about their team in the university the way our students do and the way our community does. While the Lopes did come up short against Bama, no doubt the Havocs will be back right here next season. In Phoenix, Sam Valenti, Cronkite News.